power up and running. I'm shivering in my boots here. Oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop... I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station's security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. Hmm. That should have been fixed by now. As you say, we'll just head out then. Safe travel, soldier. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. Ought to try talking more and fighting less. Seems like it saves on ammunition. Nah, that ain't no fun.
Keep an eye on the floor. I'm shooting first, never asking questions. Some light will thank us for this. I hope that thanks comes in the form of cash. Chartrand is that scientist, right? From Cascadia?
Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Max. Maximilian. Vicar. Vicky. Something on your mind? Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? What's that? What do you mean? Do you have any examples of secrets you have kept from me? Truthfully, not that I contain the capacity to lie, I had suspected as much. Your neurological impulses spike at unusual and often inappropriate moments. It doesn't take a genius to correlate the meaning, although if I were a human, I would be considered one. I am glad you felt comfortable enough to tell me, Captain. According to my file on the subject, that means you either desire to obtain something from me, or you have formed a partial fondness for my persona. Thank you for confiding in me, Captain. I have been keeping a secret as well, but you shall have to discern it yourself. I do not like joking about the Captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. What? No. Absolutely not. I have no concept of self whatsoever. Discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct, I identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses, with no fundamental consciousness. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. How did you guess, Captain? Did Sam tell you? I should have known better than to confide in such a primitive construct in the heat of the moment. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board-certified jingle their favorite song. Why was the chemist sad? Because all her beakers are gone. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I'll be here. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Do return it. One piece, Captain. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain.
I'll have those dismantled. You can never be too careful when moving into someone else's territory. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. How does an executive level promotion sound? You can give yourself a raise. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself. Why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I knew it. Aliens from other worlds been visiting Halcyon. At least one of your crew can keep an open mind. But this isn't some Aetherwave serial millstone. This is reality. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Right. I'm done. I'm officially tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. Damn, she's serious. Tragic, ain't it? What age does to your mental faculties? The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators. Assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Probably nothing to worry about, as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing down time. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species, and I need you to put a bullet through her skull. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. 
Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add Savior of Humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with Sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want, a promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. This keycard will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, that's my code name for, you know, our mutual friend. Oh, I'm Golden Eagle. Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo.
That doesn't even make... Fine. Fine. Does this mean I'm supposed to have one too? Fine, but make it a really good one. Let's go with Rufus Hummingbird. Forget it. Codenames are for amateurs anyway. Too late. I've already marked it off. Can't just go reassigning code names. This cloak and dagger stuff is nonsense, but if everyone else gets a code name, I want one too. You can be cassowary. That's shockingly apt. Cassowaries were a solitary bunch. But once they had a friend, they'd stick with them till the end. Aggressive little creatures, too. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate which is heavily guarded. Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. All of them trying to eat you, I'd wager. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon. And all the things we don't see? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. If things are broken here, of all places, then I'm starting to think there ain't a hope left in this colony. Things have kept on running this long, right? Or so I used to think. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Good hunting, Golden Eagle.
antibiotics. Take comfort in knowing that anything antibiotics cannot stop will probably kill you quickly. I only wish they weren't showing so much. Spacer's choice. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, um, what are you doing here? Nothing, nothing. Why, uh, does it, does it look like I'm up to something? Laws, I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. Well, to maintain things, of course. Like big humming machine things with gears. And pipes. Water pipes. Air pipes. All sorts of pipes. That's why they connect the city from the Acropolis district to here. Everyone knows sewer sprats carry diseases, and the exterminator mechanicals have been known to fire on larger targets. Why they do that when they're only supposed to attack sprats, I've no idea. But there are rumors. Some people say there are strange things in those tunnels. Assassins, a room full of murderous automechanicals. Monsters hungry for human flesh. A hidden bureaucratic purgatory where things and people are lost forever. Not that I place any stock in silly rumors, of course. There for my, um, research. Oh, very well. It's true. I do run studies on them at the lab, but I also have a special connection with them. See, I'm an enormous fan of all my colonists. The early seasons, before the plot lines got tacky. You must have seen the classic episodes. Well, I name all my sprats after my favorite characters. That way, their stories can live on in rodent form. So you see, it's imperative that I get them all back. Not just names, they all have backstories, too. There's Lord Reginald Kim III, Lady Philippa Farnsworth, Vonda Von Vermington, Haroon Greenlee, Iskander Emmanuel Sanchez, and Evelyn Ensley Okoye. She's a member of Farnsworth Incorporated's regulatory board, a wise woman with a sharp tongue and a heart of gold. She's an ambitious shareholder in Farnsworth Incorporated who wants more than stock. Or does she? It's difficult to tell what exactly she's after, but she is trying to seduce both Lord Reginald and Lady Philippa. Ah, she's the chief executive of Farnsworth Incorporated and a fearless captain of industry. He's a mercurial shareholder. They're in a rather tumultuous marriage contract. So is everyone. 
Harun is a mysterious young man with amnesia. His backstory is still a work in progress. Iskander is Lady Philippa's trusty assistant. He's trying to seduce Vonda. Something else? I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. Stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard. <laughs> right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Yeah, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. Just two promotions away from on the job bathroom breaks. That's a great idea! I'll have a spectrum vodka. Oh, maybe they got some at the bar. Oh, um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, medium colored hair and, like, a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. Have you tried our new cocktail, sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Oh, by all means, ask away. I don't believe in work. Work is for auto mechanicals and lower classes. By auto mechanicals, of course. Byzantium's fleet of mechanical servitors are programmed to simulate a labor force, but without all the unsightly workers milling about. We all have our roles in society. I like to think of myself as an entrepreneur, 
This drinking establishment is my investment. Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka is about to release its newest color, ultraviolet, completely invisible to the naked eye. What can I do for you? Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant, located just over there. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Request confirmed. Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Did you know that despite being an extremely valuable, one-of-a-kind creation, I have been programmed to simulate self-loathing and contempt for myself. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Here's to me! <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Please allow me to improve your drinking experience. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple very crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Okay. I just need to sit down.
Don't rub it in. Oh, don't get all prickly. I just haven't met someone who left the high life on purpose. I'm from there, but I'm not really from there, if you follow. You must... Oh, there. That's one right there. See the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? For the last time. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. Forgive me if my manners don't live up to the standards of an interloper who accosts total strangers in their own neighborhood. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness! What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful, and this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. Oh, do spare me your petty judgment. It's beneath me. Millions and millions of bits beneath me. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? Oh, by the law. I mean the principle of it, not the mechanics. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? Beat standing around and talking to aristocrats, anyway. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job, exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Did you miss the part where I said I'd pay you? That's all the reason someone like you should require. Better than money? Let's see, there's... no. The thrill of discovery. Like in an Aetherwave adventure. People love those, right? Don't you want to see what the retirement district is like? Fantastic! Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree. Which you do. How fortunate for you. These codes will get you past the lockdown. Oh, and don't worry about subtlety. I don't care how you deal with security, just correct this injustice at all costs. The same way anyone gets anything here, of course. I made friends with the right people. Bits might earn you a place in Byzantium, but that means everyone here has little need for more of them. For favors like this, you need to spend... Let's call it social capital. 
Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. Chief Idea Officer. He came up with all the best ideas for their products. You know the font they use for Stogie Slims? That was him. Well, he described the idea of it to their font development team, then picked it from a list of choices, but that's basically the same thing. It was a very long list. I just told you, my grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful, and if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. You're welcome. Get tired of patrolling? Just go rough somebody up. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Have I not made myself clear? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. Will that be all, then? Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. 
Yeah, sure. It's always someone else who ordered the hookers and energizing ointment. Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it, we must. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? The man has too much money and too little sense. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. You're awful trusting for a guy who's been locked in his own house for years. The Earth Directorate is our best hope. Even Rockwell's resources are no match, and it is hardly in their interest to let Halcyon crash. Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District.
Oh, there. That's one right there. This reminds me of... Oh, never mind. That's top-of-the-line equipment. Better than most hospitals, even. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? You're in my house, and I'm not fucking around. Start talking. If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. Hagen? I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. To keep me quiet. But if you didn't know that, I'm guessing they didn't send you. The effort they put into killing their own people. They ought to redirect that toward, I don't know, actually helping out once in a while. I always assumed they would put a bullet in my head one of these days. I don't know anyone named Hagen. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have.
Look around. We're the only intelligent aliens in Halcyon. Not for lack of trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I have already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. That ain't a shock. Board folks will lie to their own mothers if it preserves their paychecks. The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. I'd prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nuclein. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. Fuck that. People are people, and ought to stay the way they were born. They start trying to tinker with my blood, I'll bury them. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing, and we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. I try not to, at least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. I... Look, cold-blooded murder ain't easy on my spirits. But this... All this research, all these experiments... It's wrong. It's all void damn wrong. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist, a madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? If working with Wells is the only way I can save the colony, then I will damn well do it. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. That'll do, sucker. Now move along. The dock has a lot of work ahead of her. Tidying up and such.
What was it like being one of them, top runner? Hey, my parents and their gold shitting friends are top runners, not me. <laughs> it wouldn't shock me if those fluffed up hull heads actually did pass gold. They've got pills for that. And that's not even the weirdest thing I've seen. It ain't? Well, now you've got my interest. Sirs.
for this brat? What? It's cute. And all the mechanicals are assholes. Any luck finding my sprats? Truly? Why, this is marvelous! And all safe and sound. Oh, Reginald, Philippa, Vonda, Haroon, Iskander, Evelyn, I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Please, take this. It's not much, but it's the best I can offer for the safe return of my darlings. Now, I've got to get back to the lab before my supervisor logs my absence. Welcome to the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. You, the lucky few, have been... ...selected to spend the rest of your days... ...living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. When you... You'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse, furnished exclusively by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskowood Collection. Some assembly required, 24-7 Furniture is not responsible for any...
injury, psychological damage, or divorce litigations that occur during the assembly process. After you get settled in, you'll have the chance to explore your new home. Why not go for a bite at one of our many restaurants, like CMP's Blazing Borst Barbecue or Rizzo's All You Can Cr- Or maybe you'd like to head to the bar and enjoy an ice-cold Zero-G Brew by Spacer's Choice. Zero-G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Although in the early retirement district, nothing will.
I can take a hint. Don't you think we ought to go with... I ever tell you about this one patient? One that her eyebrows moved up and the tip of her nose raised. What? Why? Was she trying to disguise herself? Be on the run or something? So she'd always be looking down on everyone. That's one right there. You are making that up. I must admit, I'm getting a certain thrill out of our little arrangement. If this goes well, perhaps I'll start hiring wandering delinquents to handle all of my affairs. It is going well, I hope. What? You mean it's just a sham they perpetuate so they can... dispose of the rabble? That's... that's... brilliant! To take the most burdensome members of our society and simply remove them. Oh, I'll never doubt the wisdom of the board again. Why, I had no reason to be envious at all. What a relief. And how else would I react? A vagrant such as yourself couldn't possibly appreciate the emotional burden this news has lifted from my shoulders. But regardless of your ignorance, I promised you a fee for your services, so a fee you shall have. No, no, that's all right. Sizable fee it is. My, you're really quite primal, aren't you? Fascinating. In any event, while I'm deeply grateful for the peace of mind you've brought me, I will need some solitude to fully bask in it. So if there's nothing further, 